assembly language programs tend to become very large very quickly uh, but uh, luckily uh, it's possible to create uh, multiple files like I have in this example here I have three assembly language files and it's possible to uh, export functionality from uh, individual files and use them in uh, let's say master file so in this case for example I have this uh, linux.assembly which uh, contains uh, this uh, function OS console write I've uh, discussed this function uh, in a previous video it allows us to write a message to the console using uh, a system call uh, and obviously this works on Linux and uh, how you can uh, reuse this function once you have it written in the file uh, you can declare it in a global section here uh, using the global keyword in this case global OS console write and then in the main assembly file which in my case is this one uh, you need to declare this function as extern so in this case extern OS console write and then uh, you can uh, call it uh, like any other uh, routine in the code in this case I have here call OS console write so I'm not going to discuss the rest of this uh, file right now but in uh, next video I'm uh, going to talk about displaying uh, numbers as strings and this is what's happening here but uh, now that we have uh, these three files uh, how do you compile and create an executable file well I have this uh, build.sh which is a very simple script and uh, what it does is uh, first calls the assembler in my case NASP I have it installed uh, locally in my home folder I have a video about installing it this way and uh, I'm uh, assembling each file so first linux.asm it uh, will create uh, an object file linux.o uh, then the second file, then the third file and uh, finally in a separate command I'm using uh, LD as the linker and it will link together uh, all the three object files and it will produce the final executable in my case it's called display numbers uh, having a specific entry point uh, I'm also setting a stack size here okay so um, let me quickly delete everything I'm, uh, I'm just keeping the assembly files and the build script and now if I run the build script it will produce everything and if I run this display numbers uh, it will uh, output what uh, it's intended to output and as I said in the next video I will talk about uh, displaying numbers uh, from assembly language so thank you for watching and see you next time bye